Hello dear programmers, how are you doing today? A very warm welcome to the channel and the topic of this video is a moment with NumPy, how to use vStack and hstack functions. So these two functions in NumPy are used to combine two different NumPy arrays. So let's see how we can use these two functions. So as a logistical input, I'll import NumPy as np. We will start our discussion with vStack. So what is a V stack? V stand for vertical and its meaning of stack known to all of us. So let's first talk about V stacking one dimension array. So if we V stack two one dimension array on top of each other, it becomes a two dimension NumPy array. For example, in here I have a one dimension array one, two, three, four, five and another one dimension array six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now I can use the numpy vstack function by passing a tuple inside with numpy1, numpy2, which are nothing but these two one dimensional array. Look at the output. You will get these two numpy arrays stack on top of each other. So numpy1 comes first and numpy2 comes next. We can interchange the order if we provide np2 first and np1 later 6 7 8 9 10 will come first and 1 2 3 4 5 will come later now there is one unique case with v stack if we pass only one one dimension array in v stack look at the output it actually breaks this particular array one dimension array into a multi dimension single column array so basically this means that we have a 5 by 1 2D array. We can verify the same by giving an index 2D index number. Let's say here I am pointing to 0 which means give me the second row and 0th column which means number 3 and I can get number 3 over here. So this actually confirms that it actually breaks single dimension array into a multi dimension array. Now let's see how we stack works on two dimension array. Okay. In case of two dimension array, the two dimensional array will remain 2D array as long as same number of columns are provided in multiple arrays. Number of rows doesn't matter. First, let's talk about uniform 2D arrays. So I have two 2D array, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8. And if I could do V stack with these two, we will get a 4 by 2 matrix because number of columns are same number of rows are also same okay as i discussed earlier as long as number of columns are same v stack will work fine so here i am providing one by two look at the output it works it now giving me three by two matrix in here i have three by two matrix and i am passing it in the v stack function and you can see that I am getting a 5 by 2 matrix. Now let's go ahead and talk about hstack. Okay, hstack also combines numpy array but combines horizontally. So in this particular case, if I combine two 1D array, it will remain a 1D array. For example, I have two 1D array similar to what I have created earlier and I am calling hstack function in these two. You can see that I still get a 1D array just the next array is appended to the first array. So since we are combining in one dimension, number of element doesn't matter as long as the combination entity is one D array. For example, I am adding one over here. I get one element added over here. In here, I am adding five element and I got five element added over here. Now, how does it works in two dimension array? Let me go ahead and use the same 2D array which I have created earlier that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7, 8. If I do H stack, they are just added next to each other. So you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4 is there and 5, 6, 7, 8 is there just like it added next to each other just like arrays. In V stack, as long as number of columns used to be the same, there is no problem in combining two NumPy arrays. But in case of H stack, the number of rows has to be same if we want to combine two different number arrays. For example, in this case, I have two rows but only one column. So I can combine this with my original NumPy array and I'll get this result. In here, I have two rows but three columns and I can still combine with my first array 
and this gives me the result. So this is all about using vstack and hstack function. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks a lot.